Hi, my dear friends. This side, Dr. Sonu Pawar, your microbiology faculty and infectious disease also. So, first of all, uh, this is the paper of the UPSC CMS, and uh, the examiner sounds like uh, the favorite of that particular individual is uh, the parasitology. So, all the questions that particular individual have given from the parasitology itself. So, this is the way which can happen in the neat PG also that uh, if they get to have like if they worked up in a particular uh, area for a very long time like 5 to 10 years they tend to give that particular questions only so like that because most of the questions which they have given up is like uh, from the parasitology itself so without wasting time and uh, to make this uh, like short and crisp let's start up which one of the following are the hepatobiliary flukes okay the trematodes he have told up the trematodes trematodes you know guys that is the flukes fine so Cloriche sinensis, which is uh, associated with the bile duct stuff, bile duct carcinoma, it's a fluke. It's a hepatobiliary fluke. Mansunella persitans, this particular name, na. guys, this is a filarial worm. This is a filarial worm, it's a tissue nematode. So this goes odd man out here. Facial hepatica, yes, facial hepatica, sheep liver fluke. Office to riches, felonious. So obviously animal one, but this is also a hepatobiliary fluke. So answer to this particular question should be C, 1, 3 and 4. So this is a uh, like a trematode. This is a trematode, but Mansonella persistens is a nematode. Okay, and which nematode? It's a tissue nematode. Remember this particular one. It can come in your exam. And what is the drug of choice of facial hepatica, guys? Triclavandazole. And which cancer is the Cloriche sinus is doing? Bile duct carcinoma. Which other uh, like trematode does the cancer? Squamous cell carcinoma, urinary bladder. That is being done by which fellow? Cystosoma hamitobium. Which type of egg is there? Terminal spine. Okay, which type of egg is there? the terminal spine now coming to the next one which of the following the parasitic helminths is a nematode and has a zoonotic transmission so this particular questions now they are telling up that uh, you should know the classification that which are cystodes which are trematodes and which are nematodes okay tinea saginata it is termed as what guys beef tape form okay trichinella spiralis this is muscle worm and it's a nematode it's what it's a nematode facial hepatica again it have come facial busky it is a trematode sheep liver fluke and it is intestinal fluke that is facial abscess busky so obviously in the question itself is telling nematode and zoonotic transmission so obviously the answer is b that is trichinella spiralis why the b is answer because trichinella spiralis is a muscle worm and it happens to those who eat up uncooked pork and uh, this particular one is a vv paris fellow and uh, the most docile worm of the helminthology is trichinella spiralis. And tinea saginata is longer than the tinea sodium that you know. That's a cystode. So basically in this, they have written up all the cystodes also. They have ta talked about the trematodes also and they have talked about the nematodes also. So if you know this, that which is the nematode, directly you can do this question. The trichinella spiralis is a nematode and has a genotic transmission. Okay. A young male presented with the recent, uh, this question they have <laughs> given from the bacteriology. The young male presented with recent onset urethral discharge and dysuria on examination, the discharge is profuse and prolent. I already told you thick mucopolent discharge is a feature of gono, gonorrhea, which is STD. And the microscopy just nears when the discharge revealed the gram negative diplococci. It is itself that fellow is writing off. Can you tell me what should be the shape of this? It should be kidney shape. Okay, gurda, G, fine. What should be the likely diagnosis of it? The answer is C. That is C. Fine. And uh, if it is like uh, not profuse, uh, it's a scanty one. And instead of uh, these diplococci and those, they told about uh, that you have done the CV naught. Uh, in fact, uh, not exactly CV naught, not nucleic acid amplification test. That is PCR. So then the answer would have been chlamydia. Okay. Now coming to the next one, a Sabin Feldman diet test. I told you this question, like uh, this particular test is not being done as such, but can be asked because it have its own like, historical relevance. It's an indirect fluorescent antibody test. It's a complement fixation test, which is used to detect the antibodies and it's used for Toxoplasma gondii. And Toxoplasma gondii, when we talk about definitive host is cat, intermediate host is rat. It's a story of Tom and Jerry. And what you have in that? Bredizoids, stechizoids, stechizoids rapidly dividing, bredizoids slowly dividing forms. That is seen in this Toxoplasma gondii. And Sabine Feldman titus is an indirect fluorescent antibody test, or you can say a sort of a complement fixation test. Is it fine? So, this is regarding the Toxoplasma gondii, which you should know. And obviously, it's a protozoa. 
and uh, this particular protozoa is there in the section in which we have those particular ones like uh, sporozoa stuffs na like uh, those interstinal ones uh, the, these are the coccidian parasites along with that plasmodium also comes so this particular one is termed as tissue sporozoa t for t now coming to this a cat scratch disease is caused by infection which of the following organ this you already know answer is bartonella hansley and uh, we have made like uh, haste haste the cat has scratched you and lands up with cat scratch disease and in this the granulomas are produced delayed granulomas that is also one of the questions which you should know and this bartonella hansley along with doing the cat scratch disease also leads to a cancer that is termed as basilary angiomatosis okay clematis recomatis it is having a lot of uh, strains like a b c a b b a c d 2 k okay so those particular ones also you need to know remember l1 l2 l3 the, they are clamidia trachomatis stuff coccidia bernetti coccidia bernetti q fever coccidia bernetti q fever and q fever organism coccidia bernetti is killed by which method of pasteurization guys flash or holders the answer is flash it kills this coccidia bernetti and coccidia bernetti is famous for one more thing that is culture negative endocarditis culture negative endocarditis trypanosoma cruzei chagas disease Chagas disease, American trypanosomiasis, and mega colon, mega esophagus, myocarditis, meningoencephalitis, Chagoma, Romana sign, benzodiazole is the drug of choice for this. So all these you need to know regarding the Chagas disease. Okay. Now, other than that, which of the following is the first intermediate host for the parasitic fluke? Chlorichia sinensis. Chlorichia clonichia sinensis also is termed as. Uh, it is oriental liver fluke. or chinese liver fluke and this particular name and obviously the first intermediate host i have already told you that uh, they have certain properties trematodes which properties they have two intermediate hosts first is always snail and the second is it can be a fish and here it is a fish only second besides that it can be a crab it can be aquatic vegetation and what is the infective form guys metacercaria and what about the cystosomes cercaria cercaria does it have a needle like structure yes it have a needle like structure Okay, so answer to this question is B. That is the snail. A kala bar swellings. This question in the end of the parasitology. If you remember up, if you have done my, uh, like uh, you have done my notes or you have done uh, like uh, seen my videos, this was being covered. And the kala bar swellings uh, is a short-lived inflammatory edematous swelling close to a limb joint is characteristically seen in the infection of. Call the bar lao lao or lao. Answer is C. So that is lower lower leads to the kala bar swellings. Basically, the worms are there when you touch that, they move under your hand. So that is termed as kala bar swellings. Brugia malai, Brugia malai, you know that is the filarial form, and uh, in this uh, it causes filariasis. And obviously, in the tail tip, you see the terminal two nuclei. Whereas in the this particular which we are bank crafting, there is a band in the tail tip. There is no nuclei. Mansonella persidens already we have done. There is a subcutaneous sites. Onco cerca volvulus leads to onco cerciasis. And river blindness. Okay, and this lower lova also leads to the eye stuff, loises. And which particular fly, guys? Chrysops fly. And in the case of Oncocerca volvulus, which particular fly? Simulium fly, also termed as black fly. Another question which can be asked is that uh, which drug you will use for this? And for that, I already have told you a mnemonic slow. And in front of that, you just write up I D I D. What is this I D I D? I is ivermectin. L is These particular slow is what guys? First of all, Strongylus turcoralis, Lower Lova, Oncocerca volvulus, Wuchereira bancrofti. And what is this I? Ivermectin. What is this D? D E C. What is this I? Ivermectin. What is this D? D E C. So if somebody asks you regarding the Lower Lova, D E C should be the answer. And Oncocerca, the answer is Ivermectin. And for Strongyloids, Ivermectin. And Wuchereira, Diethyl carbazin, carbamazin. That is D E C. You got my point? So this is also there. So, ophthalmologist observed it can come in ophtha also snowflake deposit on the edges of the cornea. So this characteristic snowflake deposits they are being done by Oncocerca volvulus that is in the river blindness. These snowflake deposits are seen and it is being done by which fellow Oncocerca volvulus and it is there in that slow. So which drug you will use? Ivermectin. Okay, Ivermectin. So these are the various question guys which you should know. regarding uh, this particular up upsc cms exam 
So obviously you must have seen up that majority is there from the parasitology. So it can happen in your NEET PG exam also. That uh, a particular person have worked up in the mycology for 10 years. So obviously most of the questions will land up from where mycology. So you can't say that uh, like leaving any particular uh, topic in the subject is safe or not. And you know that if uh, the questions of micro which correlates with number of other uh, subjects also turns out to be 25 and majority comes from a particular one so you will land in trouble for your ranks okay so very best of luck for your need pg exam and uh, do see them and do revise up well okay so thank you